Alright, so this is a crash course about Gatsby GS. Now this is the first video and in this video we show you how to create a Gatsby project and we walk through the project structure. So are you ready? Alright, so how do we create a Gatsby project? Well, this is actually pretty simple. First of all, we need a Node.js installation. Now you can check if you have Node installed by typing in Node-V. Now if you get something like this, and of course the version can be different, then you have Node installed. And if you have installed Node, you will get npm for free. So if you then type in npm-d, then you also see that you have uh, npm installed. Now, if you haven't installed Node and npm, you can go to this website here node.js.org and yeah then you can simply download this version that you see here so the long-term support version all right now once you have installed that if you then type in node-v and npm-v then you'll see that you have installed uh, node and npm all right now next to that you also need git now you can verify if you have git installed by typing in git that's that's a version and if you see something like this, then you have Git installed. Now, if you haven't installed Git, then I'll suggest to Google it. It's pretty straightforward and you can very easily um, install it. Now, after that, we need to install the Gatsby CLI. Now, in order to install that, we simply type in npm install-g for globally and then Gatsby-CLI. And this will install the Gatsby CLI. And we see in a bit why this is helpful. Now I won't press enter because I already have installed this, so I won't do it here again. And next to that, you of course need a code editor. Now we will use Visual Studio Code. Now, if you want to install Visual Studio Code, you can simply go to their website by Googling VS Code. And then yeah, here you can simply download it. Click on this bad boy right here. All right, so everything is installed. Now let's get this party started. <laughs> Now with this Gatsby CLI, we can very easily create a new project and we can very easily run that Gatsby project. So let's do that. First, you go to the directory where you want uh, to create your project. Now, in our case, that will be this directory. And then we type in Gatsby, new for new project. And then we give our project a name. Now this can be any name, but we give it the name gatsby dash crash this course and then we press enter now this will create a new guest project from scratch all right so our project is created yeah and we can update our C cli by typing this but we won't do that now all right so our project is created now if we type in ls here then we see that this is our project and if we go to that directory like this so now we are in the root directory of our project and now we can start the gatsby development server so we can simply type in gatsby develop and this will load our website now this might take a while all right so our website is up and running, so we can simply copy this URL here and then we paste it here. We press enter and ta-da, this is our initial website that we basically get for free by uh, yeah, creating our Gatsby project with the Gatsby new command. All right, so let's dive a bit into the project structure. So let's open our project. So, so we are in the uh, root directory and then we type in code that and this opens up visual studio code all right let's zoom in a bit all right so what kind of nice things do we have here well first of all we have the source folder that you see here and the source folder consists of a components folder an image folder a pages and a templates folder now inside this components folder we simply create our react components now you see that already some uh, components are created here. Now Gatsby calls these components building block components. And basically these are smaller components that represents just a part of a page, for instance, a navbar. 
Now this may sound a bit vague, but it will make sense in upcoming videos. Now then next to this, we have the images folder. Now in here, we can uh, drop some images and use them, um, which we also see in an upcoming video. And then we have the pages directory. Now in here, we also create our uh, React components, but these components relates to all the UI elements for a specific page of our site. So in a page components, for instance, this one, we can also have one or more um, yeah, building block components to build our page component. Now, don't worry, in the next video, I'll explain pages in more detail. Now, then we have this template folder. Well, a template is used to create many pages of the same type, or in other words, they have more or less the same format and layout. Now, in this series of videos, we won't make use of templates. In contrast, we will make use of a newer um, implementation called File System Route API. So, yeah, we will simply remove this like this. Delete everything, bruh. Now, just to be sure, let's restart our development server to see if we don't have any errors after removing this. All right, then let's run Gatsby develop again. Yeah, we have an error. All right, so probably this is also used um, somewhere else. So yeah, let's simply search for it. And then we'll remove it here. Now I think we can remove everything here because we don't use that for now. Actually, we can remove this whole um, this whole file because we, we will make use of the file system route API. So we don't use this. Now this may sound a bit fake, but it will make sense in a bit. So, or in some other video. All right, so do we use this also somewhere else? No, I don't think so. Ah, yeah, here. <laughs> so let's also remove here. All right. All right, so we cleaned it up a bit. Now let's go back to the project structure. And for now, the most important file to explain in a bit is the Gatsby-config uh, file, file that you see here. So this is basically the main configuration file for a Gatsby website. Now, as you see in here, we specified some um, information about our uh, website, like a title and a description and an author, well, stuff like that. And we also see uh, a plugins array. And in here we can specify all uh, kinds of Gatsby plugins. Now I can imagine that this still sounds a bit fake, but I promise you it becomes clearer and clearer in upcoming videos. For now, the most important thing to remember is that we can specify some specific metadata in here and we can configure our Gatsby plugins in here. All right. So yeah, we also have this Gatsby browser file and this Gatsby SSR file, but we won't use them in this crash course. So for now, we will clean up our project a bit. And yeah, we also remove this. So we have created our initial project and we very quickly walked through the project structure. We cleaned up the project a little bit. Now I can imagine there still are a lot of questions, but this will become clearer and clearer in upcoming videos. Now in the next video, we will get our hands dirty by diving into the Gatsby.js pages. So I see you in the next video.